Well, it's a good start to the afternoon. I was just trying to get the camera gear and everything set up and that good looking young buck came in and was rubbing a tree right over here, probably 25 yards, 30 yards. And he kind of filtered down to the bottom. But it is October 27th, and I am fired up. This is my very first recurve hunt on my farm. And I just hung this stand recently, specifically for this. Uh, we have a big cold front <clears throat> that actually came through or, or hit this morning, and the temperatures have been in a free fall all day. It just feels perfect out. And while I haven't had pictures of this uh, 10 that I'm targeting here in a little while, I'm just hoping to be here when he shows back up. This is one of those situations where, you know, I have this basically a script drawn out. You know, I'm hoping he comes from this direction. I have a mock scrape out in front of me or 10 or 12 yards and hoping he hits that and gives me time to let go of the camera and draw back and shoot him but we all know how often mature bucks follow a script um, but at least at least I have a plan in place it's a really cool spot and, you know it sets up well for this type of hunt uh, close quarters I feel a little bit exposed to being this close and this low to the ground I'm probably only 12 feet up uh, but I have some good back cover I added some leaves uh, behind me so it's just the one spot right there where I'm exposed everywhere else there's still a lot of foliage on the trees so I'm, I'm gonna have to be kind of on the ball these deer could be on me pretty quick but I would say this is a little bit of an all-or-nothing hunt it's uh, certainly not a spot where I expect to see a bunch of deer I'm just hoping to see the right one so I'm excited about this weather, excited about the hunt, and uh, we'll see how it goes.
it's just about six o'clock here and as expected the movement has been solid the entire afternoon obviously the young bucks are doing their thing getting amped up A popular little rubbing tree over here it looks like but man it feels so good out this is this is the weather you dream of for the last few days of October. Alright, I'm all set up here. It's October 28th and I'm hunting a, a brand new spot that I've never been to before. Kind of a long walk in, uh, but because this river is so low, I was able to drop down off the river bank and onto the edge and kind of walk the edge for most of it. I uh, had to kind of scale the bank in a couple spots, but found a tree and hung the stand and it's a really cool spot, uh, although you can't see much. I'm at the, the very back of a huge bedding area. It's really, really thick in there. I'm back up against this river. My plan with this was, you know, to do some calling, make this a, a bulletproof wind advantage uh, for that situation. But since being in the tree, I've gotten a couple gusts that aren't great you know, kind of kicking it back in there and obviously I've seen that before sometimes just hunting on the edge of a, a big opening like this like a river uh, the wind can do some funky things but for the most part it's been good I've just had a, a couple bad kicks that make me a little nervous the other bad thing is I don't know if I've talked about it too much but the EHD in my area is probably the worst I've ever seen it you know, historically on some of the bad years we've at least been lucky in my area just uh you know a lot of times it happens in pockets and we've been fortunate enough to avoid it most of the time but this year i found way more dead deer uh, than i can ever imagine and nothing illustrates that more than me picking a random tree on this river, getting up and looking back and seeing a dead buck out in the middle of the river. Um, almost surely another EHD death. He's just out there, just laying out there. You can tell he's been there for a while. So that's never good to see. It's a nasty disease and it's hit hard this year. So hopefully, we stopped finding them, but I'm afraid that there will be plenty more to be found as the season goes and into the off season. But hoping for a good hunt tonight. I know there's a couple good bucks uh, that have used this area. Uh, maybe not this far back, but uh, the weather's so good and a lot of bucks been covering some ground, cruising, looking for those first odd does. So I'm gonna see if I can call something up and. 
hopefully have an exciting hunt. Well, sorry for the uh, uneventful hunt. The only deer I saw was this dead one in the river behind me. But I kind of knew that uh, this was another one of those all or nothing spots. Not a spot you wanna, you're gonna come to and see a bunch of deer. Um, and I do think it's probably a better morning setup. In fact, I'm going to leave these sticks in this tree, uh, so next time I come here, I'll just have to hang a stand and be, be set. That was my main goal, was to find a tree in the daylight, and uh, that way I'm ready for one of these cold November mornings coming up. Uh, I think it's going to be a different story in this spot on one of those crisp, cold days when the bucks are cruising, so beautiful spot. Uh, just a little slow tonight. I'll be back out tomorrow um, somewhere, maybe with the recurve in hand.